Hey guys, JC the Sniper here again. Um, I know it's been a while since I've made a movie, um, or not a movie, but a video. I've been pretty busy over the summer working a whole lot. Had like three or four days off most of the summer, so I've just been real busy. And I'm um, getting back into this, so I should be making more videos here soon. Um, and I hit 100 subscribers over the summer, so I'm over 100 subscribers now, so... Thanks to all you guys um, for subscribing and keep watching. And hopefully I'll keep making videos for a while. So, anyway, today I'm going to talk a little bit about this uh, Blackhawk Serpa Retention Holster, which I got over the summer. Um, and do a little bit of a review of it. So, first of all, safety check my Glock because I'll be using it. And I happen to know it's loaded, so. Here's the round. empty and there we go so we know this is safe because the triggers back strikers forward can't hit another round and there's no rounds in here so I'll take this out alright so this is the Blackhawk Serpa retention holster and obviously it's called the Serpa retention holster I don't know if you guys have seen these before uh, probably most of you have but this is the Serpa retention right here and what this does is it clips into, see that, there's that little nub in there that clips into the uh, trigger guard of your weapon. So you slide the weapon in there, it clips in, and then it can't be pulled out. Um, and this gun won't go anywhere unless you depress that and then slide the gun out. So it works really well. Um, you really can't get the, I mean, I guess you could probably rip it out if you applied a ton of force, but more than likely this would come out before the gun came out of the holster. Uh, so it's a very secure retention. Um, it's probably more secure than my Phobos holster, which I've previously reviewed, because, um, you know, this has got this on here, but if you pull this back hard enough, it can pop out. And, of course, if you have this latch off, it pulls straight out. <coughs> So, even though this one won't pull up or forward, you still get that, and somebody could just grab it and rip it out that way. Um, because of the way the retention button is located on the Serpa holster, it'd be really hard for someone to grab this, like, you know, just come up beside you and grab it and pull it out, or, you know, behind you or something. It'd be very difficult, because to get the right angle on this button, almost have to have your finger directly above it because there's this groove here and it's protected by a, a raised edge all around it so it's hard to just depress it like this with your thumb or something I mean, you can do it but it's just difficult and also if you were you know to run up and grab this and try to pull it from somebody you're gonna have a hard time getting your thumb on that button and or you know it's just gonna be difficult uh, coordination wise that way uh, to do something like that quickly enough that they won't get away from you. Um, so I use this holster both for concealed and open carry. Um, I can cover this up with a, uh, you know, just a t-shirt. Well, not a t-shirt, but a, uh, you know, like a button-down or a light jacket. We'll cover this up pretty nicely. And then I carry it sometimes when I'm open carrying. Um, so besides the retention, there is a, an adjustment screw to adjust how tight this is um, on your firearm and how tightly it grips down on there. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And also, it's adjustable in the cant. As you can see, there's little notches here. You take the screws out, move it, put the notches back in. Um, and I have it on the most forward cant. Um, you can put it, there's a, uh, you know, three different cant levels. So I tilted it all the way forward because I just, I like that uh, position. I think for me it just provides the easiest draw because it just makes it easier for me. Some people don't like a forward cant. Some people will do it straight up or, you know, whatever. But I like the forward cant, so that's what I did. Um, also, as you can see here, it's got this little hook down here. Um, so that when you slide it in, that hooks on. Similar to the way the uh, Phobos holster is. It's got these hooks here so that it snaps around your belt. Same kind of idea with this one. 
that hook will catch in your pants or whatever when you slide it in. Um, and it does make it fairly secure. However, it can pull out with just this hook. Um, they do have, in the, in the package with this, came two other hooks that you would put in here and spin and they lock in. And with those hooks in as well, this thing will not come out. I mean, it will tear your pants out before it'll come out. It's ridiculous. Um, which is why I take them off, because I find that it just makes it really difficult to just take my holster out if I want to actually take it out. I mean, it's hard enough with this hook, but if you put those in as well, it's just really, really difficult to get it out, and I just don't care for it. Um, so I just do this one. But... Uh, very well designed that way, because um, if you needed it, you could get really, really good security with these two hooks plus this one. And if you don't, you can take them out, which is what I've done. And I like the adjustable cant, which my uh, Phobos paddle holster didn't have. You know, it's just riveted on here. No adjustable cant, uh, no adjustable tension. Um, you can't adjust how it locks into your pants. You just got the one option which is not bad um, and this holster is a little bit less expensive than this one however I only paid thirty dollars for this holster so it's not going to break the bank I mean it's not a real expensive you know it's not like a some sort of safari land holster that you're going to pay 120 bucks for or whatever um, so I'm you know quite pleased with it in that way I think it's a good value for uh, what you get with it which is a lot of um, a lot of options and a lot of adjustability to fit how you want to carry your firearm. So I actually much prefer it over my Phobos uh, paddle holster. So you know I just like some of these features. Oh one other thing that I didn't talk about was that this is cut away here which allows you when you draw to begin pulling forward and it helps the barrel clear sooner. So instead of pulling all the way up to here and having your barrel clear, your barrel clears down here. Um, so it's just going to add a, a little bit of speed to your draw. And it also makes it a little bit easier because you don't have to come up so far. So it's not quite as awkward of a movement as you're trying to pull that up and you're getting to the point where your arm is kind of scrunched up and stuff, you know. So it uh, just helps you make a, a smoother draw. Um, which I like. And this Serpa thing does take, some, well, it actually takes quite a bit of getting used to. Um, but, you know, it's the same thing with any retention system. If you're going to use this, you're going to have to get used to fingering that off and then pulling back. And this one, you're going to have to get used to depressing that button firmly as you draw in order to get it out. And some people don't like this because... I've heard people say, and I know there's at least one firearms training institute um, where I've read on their website, you know, things to bring, and they specifically say do not bring a Serpa holster because they think that you're going to take your gun and you're going to draw, and as you're pushing down on that, your finger's going to flip in the trigger guard and you're going to shoot yourself. Um, I'm not really concerned about that because, first of all, I'm pushing a button. I'm not pushing hard enough that I'm going to just whip right in here and pull the trigger it's not that difficult to depress you know it's, it's fairly easy it's not like I'm applying as much force as I can and also as you can see as I draw this my finger is on the gun so even if I push down firmly my finger will be on the frame not over the trigger it's not like they located this button right here so as I'm pulling out I just go BAM and straight on the trigger you know it's up a little bit where you would put your finger if you were going to draw into a non-firing position. So overall, I think the holster is very safe. It has excellent retention. Um, it has excellent options available with the hooks and the uh, cant adjustability. Uh, it it retains very well in your in your uh, in your pants with the paddle, and uh, I think it's a great value at about thirty dollars. Thirty to forty dollars is what you'll pay for one of these. It does take some training to get used to, but I think it's worth it because it gives me a quicker, smoother draw and better retention. Alrighty, that's the Blackhawk Serpa Retention Holster. JC the Sniper, signing off.